isolate the radical. There's the radical. This one. So we'll write square root of 7x plus 11 is 1 plus 2x. Then we raise to a proper exponent to get rid of the radical. Here, squaring both sides will work because we have the square root. The exponent here is 1 half, right? The index is 2. So if we raise both sides to the second power, we'll get rid of the radical. So square both sides. Okay, if we square the square root of 7x minus 11, we get, sorry, plus 11, we get 7x plus 11. And on the right side, we have to use a distributive property to expand this. All right? I'll leave it to you to check the details. And it turns out to be 1 plus 4x plus 4x squared. OK, now we have an equation that's easier for us to handle. See, when we collect uh, like terms, combine like terms, we'll end up with a quadratic, and we know how to work with those. So collect and combine. Now will give us 4x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. All right, fill in the steps. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. We can try factoring the quadratic formula. Factoring works. I tried it. I got 4x plus 5 times x minus 2 equals 0. So through the zero factor property, the zero factor property, we can say 4x plus 5 equals 0, or x minus 2 oops, equals 0. This leads to x being 2, and this leads to x being negative 5 quarters. Well, we must check for extraneous roots. Check for extraneous roots. Extraneous roots. Oops. I checked. Two works. Negative five quarters doesn't. So, so that, don't make the mistake of eliminating the negative solution. It doesn't work because it gives us a negative radicand in here. Not because x is negative. In other examples, you might have a negative solution down here that indeed works.